Hello Wanderers, before we get into today's episode, we wanted to go over a few things with you guys. We have an ever-expanding Discord server, built with some pretty awesome people. We'll leave an updated link in the show notes. Also, our Patreon has been updated with new perks. Patrons now have access to not only shoutouts and early episodes, but now exclusive content like monthly original tales and HD posters. We also currently have a Patreon goal, where when reached, Scott will do an Entity Tier List episode. So, if that interests you, consider checking it out. To send us off, we have a merch store along with a YouTube channel, both will be linked in the show notes. That's all the announcements we have. Thank you all for listening, and let's get back to the episode. Before we get into today's episode, we have to note that due to the changing nature of the level's geography, we'll be breaking this level explanation into two parts. The first is over the first file on the level and on the second part we'll touch on the second file. We're including the two to best help understand the changing nature of the level. If you'd like to learn more about level 16 yourself, consider checking out the level files. We'll leave a link to them in the show notes. Thanks for listening to this prelude and let's get into the show. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Traveler's Guide to the Backrooms, where we try to go over and explain the lore of the many levels and entities within. My name is Sharp A3, an MEG AI processing system, and today, we'll be going over one of the rather simple, yet strange levels we've gone through so far. So, I hope you've had your gravitational displacement training, oh, and also brought your winter coat, because today, we'll be no clipping into level 16. Basic Descriptions Starting off with the original file, level 16 is the 17th level of the backrooms and has a survival difficulty class of 0. That being safe, secure, and devoid of entities. This version of level 16, or version 1 as we will be calling it throughout this part of the episode, is the more preferable version for travel, mostly due to how nice the weather and terrain are compared to the later version we'll be going over. This version is pretty simple in its design, so let's just hop into it. Let's go over what can be found within version 1 of level 16. Appearances This version of level 16 takes the appearance of a dense rainforest, accompanied by an ever-present fog. Due to this version of level 16 being relatively new in its discovery, it's unknown just how large its surface area is. But going off a photo attached to this file, we can speculate that it's quite large. This version of level 16 is stated not to have any day-night cycle in play, leaving the level in a perpetual state of dawn. And going off of the photo stated earlier, this effect cast a deep blue hue over the level. Within version 1 of level 16, temperatures have been recorded to remain at a steady 21 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Fahrenheit. A fairly decent temperature to traverse through. Though don't let the weather fool you, we highly recommend bringing winter gear. Just in case you're caught in the level's geographic change. Now, While within version 1 of level 16, the most noticeable thing wanderers will notice is the reduced gravitational pull on their bodies. Though it's not stated just how weak the gravity is here, it's noted that it's weaker than Earth's by quite a bit. This would help with carrying more supplies due to the reduced weight, and should make traversing much easier. Now to the strange part of this effect. This reduced gravitational force only applies to non-native items and organisms of level 16. So you and your items will be affected but the reduced gravity, while something like a rock that originates from level 16 won't. It's unknown why this is the case, though, like many phenomena within the backrooms, we might not ever get an answer for it. Scavenge and Supplies When it comes to scavenging within version 1 of level 16, it's not stated if anything of worth can be found here. But we do need to say that the level is mostly unexplored, so it's up to speculation just what might be found here. Entities There is currently no entity presence within this version of level 16. Well, as far as we are aware of. Settlements and Outpost Though, it seems possible to set up a lasting presence within version 1 of level 16, none are known to exist within the level. The only factor that may temper the progress of whoever tries to set up here is the lower gravitational force present within the level. It's entirely unknown what effects this may have on prolonged living within the level, so it should be taken into consideration if you're planning to place a temporary base here. 
Ins and outs. It's not known for certain which methods are used to enter version 1 of level 16. Though there is a report of an entrance being discovered within level 75, the method of which being by touching the liquid copper-like metal that can be found there. Though there isn't much known about the efficiency of this method. Other than that, it seems most methods of entering this level are completely random, so actively cataloging them would be pointless. Unlike entering the level, we do have a way to actively leave out this version of level 16. If you need to exit the level, the only known way of doing so is by climbing a tree. Doing this should send you to level 46. It is unknown what kind of trees this would work on, so just if it doesn't work, just try another tree. Trial and error as they say. Now that we have gone over the first file over level 16, let's hop into the second version of the level. Basic Descriptions Hopping into the second file on level 16, the survival difficulty class of undetermined, with the subtext of mysterious properties, unknown information, and undocumented entities. This version of level 16 is documented as being the more hostile of the two, mostly due to its extreme environmental hazards. Because of this, we don't have much to go over about this version of the level, though that's pretty much the case for both files we're going over today. Now with that bare bones description out of the way, let's get into the appearances found within version 2 of level 16. Appearances This version of level 16 is described as being within a climate closely resembling that of arctic conditions found within baseline reality. It's unknown what other geological features are present here, due to the lack of recorded explorations of the area of effect. Temperatures are recorded as ranging from 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 6 degrees Celsius or 43 Fahrenheit. So be sure to have multiple insulating layers on hand. One of the main things wanderers will notice about this version is the illuminating glow originating from the ice below. It's been stated that the surface of the ice is also believed to be highly reflective, so we advised wanderers to stray from looking at the ground for a prolonged period. This is to reduce the amount of stress your eyes may experience here. Unlike the previous version of level 16, this one does support a day slash night cycle. The duration of which seems to be 13 hours to complete a full cycle. Other than being faster than that found on earth, there doesn't seem to be any other phenomena that correlate with it. Scavenge and supplies. With how hospitable the environment can be in this version of level 16, there is little to no note of anything of value being found here. And going off of what we know about this level, even if there were care packs or almond water to be found here, it's not worth a mortal danger to retrieve said supplies. So, if you're looking into coming here for scavenging purposes, we highly advise you to try your luck elsewhere. Entities As far as we're aware, the only entities observed within this version of level 16 are light guides. Also known as Entity 35, Light guides are rare creatures, if you could call it that, who seem to guide wanderers to places of relative safety or to guide them out of dangerous situations in general. Orb-like in shape, they give off a brilliant glow, making them quite easy to spot if one is nearby. Being seemingly immortal in their biology, any attempts to physically harm them are met with their bodies phasing through all attacks. Within this version of level 16, these entities can be found in groups. Something of an extremely rare occurrence within the back rooms. If you come across them while traveling within level 16, take note and follow them if possible. Though light guides are confirmed to have a presence within level 16, it is speculated other entities may exist here as well. But due to how hard it is to traverse the level, along with how little is known about this version of level 16, it's extremely difficult to confirm these speculations. Though keep this in mind if you find yourself within level 16. Settlements and Outpost Due to the vast amount of environmental hazards displayed within this version of level 16, any attempts to set up an outpost or settlement will almost certainly to failure. We advise that no one try to do this, as it's too unsafe to attempt. To enter this version of level 16, the most reliable way to do so is by going through its transformation phase between versions, though this is stated as being unsafe, so do so at your discretion. Another way of entering is by coming into contact with an orange gallium patch within level 75. This method is the more acceptable way of entering version 2 of this level. Though there are other rumored ways of entering this version of level 16, none of them are confirmed to be true ways into here. As for exiting this version of level 16, is rather tricky. It's stated that, 
To exit version 2 of level 16, you must locate a sheet of ice covered in sand and stand upon it. Though what happens next isn't stated, the file mentions that doing this will lead the wanderer to level 46. What makes exiting trickier is that the ice sheet is known to shift throughout the level. Making it a huge game of hide and go seek just to leave the level, and combining this with the state of the level. Exiting can prove to be quite deadly. So come well prepared if you're planning to exit this version of level 16 safely. Ins and outs. Closing words. So, that was level 16 of the backrooms. What did you think of the level? Which version do you like learning about the most? We'd love to know what you think. That's going to be all from us today, so thanks for listening and we hope to see you guys in the next episode. Until next time, have a wonderful day, and be safe out there. I would like to say a very special thank you to our patrons over at Patreon. Starting with the Wanderers at the $1 level, Ridiculous, Izzy Klein, Caleb Hills, Nathan Gear, Anakin Bumgardner, Sushi Penguini, Jeff Nordley, That One Random Guy, The Good Diamond, Brandon Berry, Shelby Girl Gaming, Coconut Cluster, Brandon Briars, and Lee. Next up are our Senior Explorers at the $8 level, Stephen Conger, Manacord, Zephyr the Cast Iron Crow, Ant, Undead, Jerigino Laws, and Rachel. Thank you all for going that extra step to support us and what we do. It's greatly appreciated. If you would also like to get your name shouted out at the end of the episode, get access to exclusive Patreon content and more, go become a patron on our Patreon. Thanks again for listening, and have a wonderful day.